the layout for a proof. This is going to be an example of the midpoint proof. So, this is what we've got here, okay? We've got a drawing, we've got a table, we've got a given and a prove, okay? So, we're going to look at this. If there's no drawing, no figure, you make one and it goes up above the table. See, this is the proof table right here. So let's look at our given. It's given that X is the midpoint of AB. X is the midpoint of segment AB. Okay, there's X, and it's the midpoint of segment AB. Okay. And that uh, segment CX, CX, right here, is equal to XA, is equal to this one. Okay? We have to prove that BX, this down here, is equal to CX. Okay? So, here's our first thing we do. X is the midpoint of AB. That is given. So we put that up there first. Okay? The second thing is that segment BX is equal to AX. BX is equal to AX. All right? Our reason is the definition of a midpoint. A midpoint is halfway between two endpoints of a segment. Now, when you're doing your reasons, you could just put definition of a midpoint and that would be accepted. I went into detail here so that you would understand, but you could just put that, okay? The next thing we're going to write is segment CX is equal to segment XA, and that's given, okay? It was given in the given section. So, if CX is equal to XA, then segment BX, this down here, is equal to CX. Because of the midpoint definition that tells us that X is in between A and B, see that? And we use the definition as our, as our reason. So, it's saying if this is equal to this and this is equal to this, then this is equal to this. Do you see what I'm saying? So the reason for segment BX equaling CX is the transitive principle of equality. If two quantities are equal to the same quantity, they are equal to each other. Now you could have also just written transitive principle of equality or just transitive even. Just the one word transitive would have been accepted. Okay? So, to explain what I'm trying to say is, I came up with this analogy. There is actually a word puzzle game that to solve it, you need to go from a given first word to a last word by changing only one letter at a time. They're in puzzle books. This is similar to the game plan for solving a proof. So, what if the puzzle book said you have to go from the word game to the word hair in four moves and you could only change one letter at a time? Well, the given is game, and we need to get to hair. So I would change one letter at a time. I would change the M to a V, and then the next move I would change the G to an H. Then the next move I would change the V to an R, and then I would have the word hair, and I'd be finished. And I did it in methodical, logical order, and that's pretty much the same thing you do with a proof. In the next video, I'm going to do another layout, and it's going to be an equal segments proof. So you'll be able to see how to do that. The more proofs you do, the easier it gets because it becomes second nature, and you end up really starting to know all these reasons by heart.